With this, it's possible. And this might be the only skate on the market that allows you that. Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. <laughs> and I'm Janice the wifey. <laughs> okay, if you look at Janice's shirt, you'll see the logo Skate Pro. Basically, we are inside the RV that we used to go to, where did we go? Everywhere, we went everywhere. Okay, check where we went. I just showed them the, the map. Basically, we went Spain, France. Seven countries in 11 days. You do the math, son. Boom. Yeah, and I was driving the whole time. So we got sent some skates for this trip, and one of the skates that we got sent was... <laughs> this side. You show that side. The <laughs> moment you've all been waiting for. The review of the Pro 4. <laughs> The Rosis Pro 4. Of course, this review is going to be a little bit different uh, from what we wanted to do it as first because as you might know by now, Janice is not a one person anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Just as I was getting back into the swing of things and skating parks, we found out that I'm pregnant. So unfortunately, I can tell you what I know about these skates and how I feel about these skates but I have not take, been able to take them to the fullest. To the next to level. To the next level <laughs> of aggressive park quad skating. Anyway, let's talk serious stuff now and we don't want them to listen now. So. <laughs> That's the right one. <laughs> anyway, now they can focus on us. What, what I can say and how I can help Janice with this review is, let me try to show you the skate, is I've been skating something very similar. I've been skating something very similar on aggressive skates, which is basically the same boot, the Rosis M12, and I feel like it is a very, very supportive boot, but we'll go there in a minute. But the one that I've been skating has a little bit of a different cuff, but this is not a review of this skate. This will come later, so for now, we're gonna talk about the Rosis Pro 4. Janice has been the one skating, I have some experience with this boot, and that's what I can help her with it. So, let's start. Okay, so everyone's been wondering how they are and how they skate. Yes, they look and are badass. Question. 10 out of 10 for badassness wearing these. <laughs> can, can, I, can I ask you questions and then you, it, yeah. it might work better? Okay. Because if you don't know, Janice is a beginner. Like we can, can you say we're I don't, I don't want to classify myself as anything. I'm not like, I don't know if I'm a speed skater, maybe. I don't know. I'm definitely not a dance skater because like, I can't do the choreography coordination thing. Anyway, so let's go ahead. So you had a few skates before this, right? Yes. Is this your first plastic boot? This first? is my first aggressive badass skate. How, how did these skates felt felt compared with with something like like a shoe that you had okay. before? So my honest opinion about these skates, at first they were really a little bit scary um they are they are quite heavy i won't lie it takes getting used to so i if you in that transition nice word transition from a normal roller quad skate to this hard aggressive skate it does feel different it feels heavy um you know you gotta your legs need to be stronger but like after the first time in the park i really really enjoyed them and then you start getting used to it and then Okay, but what do you feel like you enjoyed about them? They're badass, man. Is it, is it just a look or like as an example, for me, I can tell you that something... They're very supportive. Okay, that's one. It is extremely supportive and I'm pretty sure people doing rails and backflips and grinding stuff, it's, 
it's these you can't go wrong with these okay now i can give you my opinion about it too which is some people say that it's not needed to have a super supportive skate as a roller skate because you have a wider base it's not just a line because the wheels are far apart you don't need that much support that's what some people say but the truth is after skating with a similar boot which is this but it's not need to show i don't show it again after skating with a, a similar boot on a, on roller skates it, it feels really good and, th and that's the reason why there's a lot more brands out there making something similar to these but not with the main feature of this skate because the main feature of this skate is not just the boot the boot as you said is supportive is it comfortable it's very comfortable it's nice and padded on the inside very it's a little bit different from some of the skates that you had before which is some of the skates they have a raised heel and this one is almost flat it's not flat is it has a little bit of a heel but it's almost like a flat skate which you might not know but that's one of the reasons why it feels more stable because you anatomically you have that's a that nice was a word. nice that's word that's a good word anatomically you feel a lot more support you're 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 grounded you're a lot more stable yeah you're grounded, you're grounded. You're a lot more, you, your ankle is a lot more stable when mm -hmm. it's closer to the flat position okay mm -hmm. that's why we don't walk on the toes that's why we walk with the heels down mm -hmm. so when you put your toes up you're not in this position anymore and you're like the best question that i can make you is how many people do you know that have twisted ankles when they use high heels loads it's a lot more common right yeah so obviously no one yeah, some people skate with high heels i was gonna say no one skates but some yeah yeah yeah, yeah but this is one of the reasons why it's more supportive because it's flatter but then of course because of the material now you said that it feels a little bit heavier i mean the whole thing but look you have a, a block grind, a, a grind, grind block. block i mean well, we'll get there in a second yeah, we'll yeah but i mean the whole structure Yes, that's the whole normal, skate man. is much heavier. Yes, you were skating sometimes on a on a on a skate that didn't add like these super stiff and and also sometimes with a plastic truck and not an aluminium truck. It yeah, it's the plate. That's the what plate, I had to say. Sorry. So the the plate on these ones, it's plastic. So this one, yeah, it's a lot lighter and it's it's a lot bigger size. Yeah see the, just the, the plate itself on this one which is a it's a pu which is polyurethane it's a nice word for plastic you know? i know what pu means <laughs> yeah you, you don't say plastic but you say polyurethane but it looks like classier but anyway so the the plate is quite heavy on this skate. i mm -hmm. think that's that might be one of the things that brings it uh, the weight and also the block now the wheels are also different from what you were used to how did you felt They're about fast that? But why are they fast, you know? Because they're hard. <laughs> yes. This skate and I only figured that out after I dropped the ball and went flying. So Janice was used to skate with a little bit of a wider wheel, like a, something that comes all the way here. And this, these wider wheels usually give you a little bit more stability, but also more grip. Mm -hmm. But it will not roll as fast as a wheel that has less surface touching. So less surface means less grip, faster rolling. Fast. Now. If they are harder, means that they're even faster and less grippier. So these wheels are... I learned the hard way. No, you didn't fail. I did, you did. Huh? I did. I, and I nailed myself once on these skates. But that wasn't the time I fell. That I just dropped the ball and went like really, really fast. That was the first time you <laughs> tried them. Okay, so the thing is, yes, they do roll really fast. I haven't skated these, but I know how these type of wheels feel. These are, 50, these are 56 millimeters. The width of the wheel is 31 millimeters, and then the hardness is 98 on a scale that goes all the way to 100. So it's a really, really hard wheel, which is cool. It does look really cool that it's all black. If you can see this on the screen, it's blue because this is from the bowl that I dropped. Yeah, badass. <laughs> <laughs> I took some of the bowl with me just to look more badass. Now, something that you might want to know is... The toe stop. The toe stop that comes on these, it's one of those just like a regular Universal Derby one. So it's basically the fat threaded one. That's it. You just you just put it all the way until where you want, and then you have just a a little bolt or they call this a nut. Yeah, you can just 
could I bring it out? Because I felt that they were like a little bit like I had to go really forward. Yeah, to you stop. can. Yeah, yeah, of course you can. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah, Maybe it's that's adjustable. What I felt. You can. So what you can say is it's an adjustable height to stop. Ah, now okay, you know. that's important because I felt I thought maybe they were a little bit in, and I had to like uh, go over a bit to stop. And let me tell you something else: your trucks are a little bit too tight. You can have them a little bit more loose, which will give you a smoother ride on balls and stuff like that. Because right now, check this. And how would you do that? I don't know these well, things. Basically, why do I have you? There's a kingpin, which is this crew, this crew that you have here fixing the trucks to the plate and this this bolt it's called the kingpin this kingpin if you just loose it a little bit it's going to be a little bit looser that's it it's going to feel like smoother so we can do that after it should have been tested for review <laughs> but I, on mine i didn't even know you could do that check that mines are really really soft that's why you have these rubbers anyway maybe it would have prevented me from falling my ass off Okay, now talking a little bit more technically about the block. So when you look at the block, it's going to be a block that will allow you to do all the stalls really easy. And you did a few of those I stalls. I did stalls. Okay, and for stalling and dropping in, it's something that is going to help you a lot. So comparing these, which doesn't have anything to that, like if there's a ramp here, it's you're always scared that the back truck it's going to, to, mm -hmm. to get hook. stuck on, yeah, it's going to hook on the top of the ramp and you fall. When you have a, a H block like this, even if you're a beginner, it's going to help you a lot because the, you just feel that the top of the ramp, the coping, it's going to slide out really easy. Mm -hmm. So you just drop in without being scared. By the way, this needs to be fixed. <laughs> <laughs> He, Maintenance. Let, he let his pregnant wife skate these skates without checking them. Maintenance oh. on the skates from 1 to 10, <laughs> 0 for Janice. Now, what Unbelievable. else? Unbelievable. Now, check this out. This is important. Like I was saying, it's it's super. It's a super simple age block. It, uh, it, it has some holes, so it just they try to shave a little bit of weight on it. It's not super wide. This is important. It's not a super, super wide one. Like the Chicks and Balls ones is really wide. The first one that came out. Now they made a different edition. So on this one, it's not super wide, but it's, I think it's, it's wide enough for the trucks that you have here. Meaning that you won't get stuck on the wheels. So front sides and back sides should feel really good with this. Now, if you do want to do some tricks, like you want to bend your foot a lot more, might be harder for some tricks but should be really easy for simple tricks something that I also see on these that I don't know if it's that great but it didn't try it is the block sticks out a little bit higher than the, um, the trucks meaning when you do grinds on the trucks if you can there's not a lot of spaces in wheels, but if you do it, you might be grinding on the block and not on the trucks. So it might take a little bit of time for you just shave it. While you, the more you do it, the more it's going to to get used. But it's of course interchangeable. It has these two screws here. You can also <laughs> take it off, remove it. You can remove it. You can also tighten it. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, can we talk about the lace-up system? <laughs> Okay, so the lace-up system is really cool. So you've got little laces over there. And then you've got that thing that I liked from my the Rosie's... Um, the fitness skates you got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so, gymnasium too. Yeah, so it's got the memory lock. The memory buckle. The memory buckle. So you adjust it where you want and you put it in. So it's like a quick... Yeah, basically what happens you've got is your this. Skate on. Check this out. This thing, when you get it out of the box, it's really loose. Then the receptor... You go and you make it the distance you want. You put it as tight as you want here. Now, after using it once and you're finding what's the right place for you, then you just need to take it out from here and boom. So every single time that you put them on, they're going to go to the same position. Thank you, Rosies, for putting these things on these skates. These skates have something that you complained about on your, on your other fitness skates, which is it has something that will help you carry this that's just really. what i said ah oh, you said that <laughs> i, I thought said, thank you rosie's 
for the, putting these on there. Okay, because we were just talking about the buckles, I thought you were still no, in the buckles. No, I was holding it like that because I like these thingies. It helps you carry it. And I guess that's it. So just for anyone that's going to like comment and leave a nasty comment, don't worry. I'm not skating parks while pregnant. Well, you've been. Yeah, little... but I'm done now. Okay. So. Ah, really important. I just saw that here now. So basically, there is some. The only thing on this skate that I, I really don't know why it is here. Not that it's going to do anything wrong, but in my opinion, maybe we can take it out just to shave a little bit of weight. You see this plate here on the side? Mm. This little plate. This little plate came from one of the like the second edition or maybe the third edition of the Rose's Majestic 12, and this was going to give you a little bit more space for doing soul tricks, but. Not that many people is going to do some soul tricks. You can do it. What is I've a soul done. Trick? Basically, when you slide in between the wheel and the boot, with this is possible. And this might be the only skate on the market that allows you that. I've these, done, these are bad ass. I've done some tricks like that, but I've seen a lot. Of, uh, very few people do it, and I had to. I had to to customize my skates to be able to do it. Now with these, if you use the plate, you will be able to do stuff like this in between the wheel and the sole. It's kind of like the sole tricks. But if you're not thinking about doing it, here's a way to shave a little bit of weight. Just take it out. There's three screws. One, two, three. And it's off. Boom. Ready to go. Look here. I was, that means I was badass. You're really badass. <laughs> and that's it. I hope you guys enjoy the review of the Rosie's Pro 4. In nine months time, I'll be able to give them my fullest. To skate it badassly. I will be the badass on these badass things. <laughs> okay, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to buy the Rosie's Pro 4, there's a link in the description. We want to say thank you to Skate Pro. We want to say thank you to Rosie's for sending us these skates. And there will be more reviews to come, including on the Rosie's Pro 80, but that's the next one. So for now, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Don't forget why we all started skating. You know what? And they're made in Italy, and we were in Italy. Just saying. Yeah, the boot is made in Italy, so that's a good thing. I know that on the inline skates, they are really, really eco friendly, the boot, but I don't know about this, so I'm not gonna say. But do you know why we all started skating? <gasps> Babe, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. Cheers. Bye. Woo. Check this. The caravan is just going down. You got a little longer, so